In June, Mass Ioneer joined forces with Scapin's Eye Research Institute. Together, they made it a bad day for blindness. Well, I called it a bad day for blindness when we joined with the Scapins. Uh, to me, it gives us the leadership, the momentum, the research staff necessary to really go after blindness for the next decades and really do something about it. When you have a world-class medical institution that provides clinical care, that provides top-notch clinical and translational research on the one hand, and the merger of that institution with the largest eye research institution dedicated exclusively to eye research in the laboratory and preclinical work. That coming together of those two forces can only be a good thing. Overall, uh, combining Scapins and Mass Eye more than doubles our research programs. We already had the largest ear, nose, and throat uh, laboratory in the country. Our ophthalmology was strong, but really now, in terms of eye research, there's nobody even close. Research at Scapins does not overlap, but is entirely complementary to what's going on at Mass Ionia. So it's really an ideal marriage of two superlative institutions. It makes us the biggest and clearly one of the best eye research institutions in the world, as well as our leadership in ENT and other fields. We really have an unstoppable team. This potent combination will inevitably provide a better future for kids like Braden. The story of Braden is basically a non-seeing child who had a number of ocular problems in both eyes. We knew that one eye was non-seeing at all and the other eye had a, an opaque cornea. And then at three months old, he scratched his cornea, which is when he was referred up here. When Braden first came to me in 2008, he had a severe corneal ulcer in his one good seeing eye. Dr. Jaconis is probably Braden's second mother. <laughs> she took care of him as best as she could. She was great with him. Braden underwent a number of surgeries. First, a couple of transplants to help Braden see. And then when that didn't work, we did a stem cell transplant from the non-seeing eye to the good eye or the eye with the visual potential before undergoing a third transplant. Ultimately, a keratoprosthesis, or K-Pro, a plastic cornea developed at Mass Eye and Ear, was the best solution for Braden's left eye. He sees now, he knows all his colors, he's walking, he's just a brand new child. What color is that? But in the future, kids like Braden will benefit from new research, allowing doctors to grow healthy stem cells from other parts of their bodies. If we make this technology work, we'll make us the first center in the United States capable of doing this for young children and older adults alike. I wouldn't have gone anywhere else. All the doctors are nice, they're great. Braden was like their little, their little man. They loved him. And on his farm he had a cow, cow, yeah. My hopes for Brayden are that he could just keep getting better and keep getting up there. He was very delayed because of all the surgeries and everything. And if he could just catch up and just be himself, because he's, he's amazing too, that's all I really want. <laughs>